Good morning, and welcome to the Performance Measures Training for the Bureau of Justice Assistance Performance Measurement Tool. Today, I want to get you acquainted with the Performance Measures Reporting Requirements, provide an overview of the PMT system, and address frequently asked questions. First, I will briefly go over the different types of performance measures in the PMT questionnaire. Then, I will go over the PMT reporting schedule. Finally, I will discuss the different features of the PMT, how to navigate the system, and report generation. Let's get started. Let's go over some commonly used terms in the PMT, since we'll use them frequently throughout the remainder of today's session. The PMT uses specific terminology to refer to persons, organizations, and concepts. A grantee is the primary recipient of a federal award from BJA. This organization is the entity that submits the application to BJA for federal funding. A grant or award is the funding given to grantees by BJA. A subrecipient or subgrantee is a secondary recipient of a federal award via a primary grantee. The project description is a description of the BJA-funded project that serves as the basis of the grant application. The project description details the purpose of the project and funding. A reporting period is the period of time in which BJA-funded activities were conducted and funds were expended and obligated. Reporting periods for the BJA PMT consist of a three-month period, also called quarters. For example, the New Jersey State Administering Agency received a grant from BJA, making them a grantee. They use some of the money they receive from BJA to fund their project activities and use the remaining part of their grant to subaward funding to a local law enforcement organization. The local law enforcement organization is now considered a subrecipient of the New Jersey State Administering Agency. The outline of the BJA-funded activities that will be conducted by both the grantee and subrecipient should be captured in the grantee's project description, which was detailed in the grant application. The data collected by the grantee and subrecipient should be reported for each quarterly reporting period that the grant is active. As mentioned earlier, the questions in the PMT are made up of two main categories. The first is the quantitative performance measures. This is where you report on the numeric data you collected over the course of the reporting period. For example, how many participants did you train during this reporting period? The second session are the qualitative narrative questions. These questions are open-ended and do not require a numeric response. They're narrative questions that are answered during the April to June and October to December reporting periods fall into this category. An example of this type of question is what challenges did you face in completing your program goals during this reporting period? Remember, these questions are meant to capture the full experience you have with conducting activities with BJA funds. The more information you provide, the better. The quantitative data you report is used to establish baselines, track performance against program goals, and create a nationwide picture of numeric data for BJA. Narrative questions are open-ended and give grantees a chance to express in their own words how their experience has been conducting program activities with BJA funding. Both of these categories are equally important for your reporting, so you should take every possible measure to ensure the accuracy and integrity of your data. Next, we will go over the specific types of reports that are generated in the PMT. As you may know, the PMT collects data for a three-month period of activity, referred to as a reporting period. You will have 30 days after the close of the reporting period to enter data into the PMT. After you complete your data entry, you will be prompted by the PMT to create a report of this information. In January and July, grantees are required to upload a report into GMS, which is also generated from the PMT. This report is uploaded as an attachment to your progress report in GMS and is called the GMS report. This report contains the narrative and numeric responses that we talked about on the previous slide. Closeout or final reports 
are generated only when all grant funding has been expended and all grant activities have been completed. The closeout or final report is uploaded to GMS. If you need assistance in uploading a report to GMS, please contact the GMS Help Desk. As a reminder, all of these reports are always available in the PMT for you to create and save as many times as needed. You should also keep in mind that BJA reviews grantees' report status and data every quarter to ensure accuracy and compliance with reporting requirements. So it is vital to fulfill every reporting requirement your agency has in accordance with your grant. You may be contacted if your data entry raises any flags during our data verification process. This is the reporting schedule that details the time frame for each reporting period, the type of data required, and the due dates for submitting it in the PMT and GMS. You will enter program performance measures every quarter and enter the narrative section twice a year during the April to June and October to December reporting periods. This table can be found in the PMT on the information and resources page as well. As a reminder, the PMT is accessible year-round for data review, report generation, count creation, and more. But data entry is only scheduled for the month following the close of a reporting period based on the scheduled PMT due date. If you need to edit any data outside of the scheduled due dates, you will need to contact the PMT Help Desk. Let's take a moment to review what we've learned so far. Please answer the polling questions on the right side of your screen. Number one, how many days after the close of a reporting period is your PMT report due? A7, B15, C30, D45. Number two, what are the occasions you report into the PMT? A quarterly, B semi-annually, C at the close of your award, or D all of the above? We'll give you a moment to answer these questions. Thank you all for answering our review questions. The correct answer for number one, how many days after the close of a reporting period is your PMT report due, is C, 30 days. The answer to number two, what are the occasions you report into the PMT, is D, all of the above. Now let's go into the functions of the performance measurement tool. So, what exactly is the PMT? The Performance Measurement Tool is the online data collection tool for BJA's grant recipients. It is structured as an online questionnaire and is available year-round. The PMT contains lots of information and tools to assist you in your reporting, so let's take a look at it. Here are the sections we will be covering for the rest of the presentation which range from creating a profile to creating a report. As a reminder, if you have any questions related to today's training, the BJA PMT Help Desk contact information will be listed at the end of the presentation. Contacting the Help Desk will provide you with the most accurate and up-to-date guidance on all things PMT. To access the Performance Measurement Tool, visit the PMT's single sign-on page at ojpsso.ojp.gov. The single sign-on page allows grant recipients with multiple awards from the Office of Justice Programs to access all of their awards using one username and password. So, for example, if your organization receives funding for both EJA and the Office of Victims of Crime, you can log in with one username and one password and access reporting for both awards. As a note, you must be a BJA grantee or subrecipient whose prime grantee has given you access to report to set up a username and password, and all individual users must have their own unique username and password. Once your unique account is created, enter your registered email as your username along with your password to log in. We recommend using Google Chrome as your default browser for PMT access. Here's an example of the email new users will receive when their account is created. 
To set up a new user account, click on the link in the email. The password you create is based on OG, OJP security requirements and is similar to the policy used by other Department of Justice websites. Passwords must be at least 12 characters and contain at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. If you request to have your password reset, you will not be able to use the same password as the one you used within the last 24 password change requests. Please note that if you do not receive an automated email from the PNT within several minutes of creating your account, you should check your junk mail or contact your organization's IT department to ensure there are no firewalls preventing the email from being delivered. Here you can update or change your account by pa and password by clicking on the corresponding link. Once all account information is up to date, select BJA PMT to continue. The first profile page of the PMT displays the various awards your organization received. If your organization receives funds from various sources within BJA, you will have access to multiple profiles. The picture on this slide depicts an organization who receives funding directly from BJA, making them a grantee, and who also receives subaward funding from another state agency, making them a subgrantee. To continue to enter or edit data, select the grantee or subgrantee profile you want to report on by clicking on the plus sign and then your organization's name. As a note, you will not see this page if you only have one PMT profile or award, but will instead be brought right into the performance measurement tool. If you are logging into the PMT for the first time, the system will direct you to the profile page. This information comes from GMS. If any of it is incorrect, please be sure to log into GMS and submit a grants adjustment notice to update the contact information in that system. Make sure you also inform the PMT Help Desk, along with your BJA grant manager, of any necessary changes. Having accurate contact information listed in the PMT is extremely important so that you receive email updates, reminders, notices, and other necessary user materials. If others within your organization also need access to enter and edit data, go to the Manage User page to add them. Only add users who need access to the BJA PMT to complete data entry and reporting. Adding a user automatically sends that person an email with a link to create and complete a user account. If you are a returning user, you will be directed to the Information and Resources page upon logging in. This page gives you access to important documents regarding the grant program, such as this user guide, the FAQs, a copy of the performance measures, and any updates. Keep in mind you can access the profile and the Information and Resources pages at any time while logged into the PMT. As you work within the PMT, be sure to save often as the PMT will time users out after 30 minutes of inactivity. Any data not saved will be erased. Additionally, users should be sure not to use the back or forward buttons on their web browser as that will produce system errors, but instead use the buttons within the PMT to navigate within the system. Reporting in the PMT is based on grant activity funded by a federal award number. If you have multiple BJA grants or awards that are active at the same time, it is recommended and preferred that you spend the funds and close out one grant before the other becomes operational. If there is any overlap between multiple awards where they are both active and supporting the same services and activities, your data should be prorated based on the percentage of grant funding from each grant. Please do not duplicate data reporting. BJA 
aggregates the numbers and uses the totals to make programmatic decisions and duplicative data hampers that process. To begin the data entry process, go to the Federal Awards page. Its purpose is to give an overview of data entry for all awards. If you have any questions about the PMT, the PMT Help Desk toll-free number and email address are at the bottom of every page. Click the red Begin Reporting Process button next to the reporting period you want to begin entering data for. Before we get into the specifics of PMT data entry, it is important to understand the different statuses on the Federal Awards page so you are aware of where you are in the reporting process. If a grantee has not opened their report or saved any data, the PMT will mark your report as not started. If a grantee has opened their report and begun data entry but has not completed all of the questionnaire, the PMT will mark the report as in progress. If a grantee has entered, completed every question in the report, and saved the results, the PMT will mark the record as complete. Not operational applies to grantees that indicated there was not grant-funded activity and no funds were expended during the three-month reporting period. If a report is marked as not operational, the grantee will not need to answer performance measurement questions. Grantees who have subrecipients will be affected by their subrecipient's report status as well. For example, if a grantee has completed their portion of the PMT, but their subrecipient reporting is still in progress, the overall status of their report, shown on the grantee's federal awards page, will say in progress. It is important that all grant recipients, both at the grantee and subrecipient level, complete their reports in a timely fashion. If you do not have any subrecipients, you can proceed with data entry as usual. Once you click the Begin Reporting Process button on the Federal Awards page, you will be brought to the Award Administration page. The purpose of the Award Administration page is to inform BJAA about how you are administering your funds. On this page, grantees can indicate whether they use all the funds themselves, whether their subgrantees use all of the funds, or whether their funds are split between the grantee organization and subgrantee organization. In addition, the PMT will also ask whether this is the last reporting period of data you have to report. If you have completed all of your grant activity and expended all of your funds, select Yes to create a final PMT report. The final report is the last report you will generate in the PMT. The grantee should only create a final report if all funds have been expended prior to the last day of the reporting period. Your grant manager will want to see this report in GMS before they approve your closeout. Sometimes the PMT has some technical difficulties with producing a final report. If this happens to you, please submit in GMS the reports that cover your award period. If you aren't ready yet to close out your award, select No to proceed with your quarterly report. Next, you will be brought to the Grant Activity page. The first question asked every quarter is whether there was grant activity during the reporting period. If you answer yes, you will be prompted to answer the performance measures. If you indicated there was not grant activity, you will not be prompted to answer the numerical questions, but you will need to explain why no activity occurred instead. If there was no grant activity, your data entry status will show as not operational. As mentioned, not operational means that no funds were spent and or no activity occurred. Not all grantee reports will appear in the way that's shown on the slide as this is just an example. But the data entry process is largely the same across the platform. To continue, press Save and Continue. By indicating that there was program activity during the reporting period, the PMT will then generate the program questionnaire. This screenshot is an example of what the tabs may look like once your grant program is operational. 
The tabs you see will vary depending on the grant program you are working on. Here, you will input responses to each of the measures or questions. You must enter data in all fields for all required questions to move forward. If a question does not apply to your program activities and you are not able to skip it, or if you are unable to provide a value, you may enter zero to show that the question is not applicable to you during the reporting period. However, you must explain all zero values. The option to add comments is provided at the end of your report and is available for every quarterly report. You can also use the comment section to explain any part of your report that may require further explanation. Now we are going to talk briefly about the narrative questions that appear twice a year. The narrative section consists of several questions where you can elaborate on your program for the reporting period. When entering data for the April to June and October to December reporting periods, regardless of your grant activity, you are required to answer the narrative questions asked of all BJA grantees. The questions are based on the previous six months of activity for which you are providing performance data. You are required to answer the questions regardless of whether or not your award was considered operational. You may enter up to 5,000 characters for each response. On this page, you should remember to not enter NA or not applicable for these questions. We have found that grant managers often return reports for editing if grantees ignore these questions. We advise you to enter two to three sentences for each question. If you are done with all data entry for the reporting period and have reviewed all of your data, you are ready to mark your report as complete. To do so, check the Mark Data as Complete box at the top of the page. Once you check the box, your data will be locked and you will not be able to make edits without contacting the PMT Help Desk. Please be sure that your data entry is final and accurate before checking in the Mark Data as Complete box. If you need to make changes to a locked report, contact the PMT Help Desk to request that it be unlocked. Congratulations! You have successfully completed your data entry and you are ready to generate your report. After you select the Marked Data as Complete button and save your report, you will be asked if you want to create a GMS report. As a reminder, the example shown on this slide is for training purposes only. What you see when you create your GMS report may look different. However, the steps to create your report are the same. After you select Create a GMS Report, a new window will appear with your report on the page. Select the red Export as PDF file to generate a copy of your report as a PDF, which will open up in a new window. Save the report onto your computer for record keeping, or if it is during the April to June or October to December reporting periods, save the report to your computer so that you can upload it as an attachment to your progress reports in the GMS by July 30th and January 30th of each calendar year. After you have saved the GMS report to your computer, return to the Federal Awards page to view the data entry and report status. The data entry status should appear as completed and the report status should appear as created. This is confirmation that data entry is complete in the PMT for the quarter. Log out of the PMT and prepare for the next round of performance measures, collection and reporting. Please check your award's special conditions and check with your state policy advisor or grant manager to determine if you have other reporting requirements. In January, July, and at the close of your award, upload your report and any other progress reports into the GMS. Now that we have gone over the reporting process, let's go over some frequently asked questions. If you receive an error message, follow the prompt to correct any errors or discrepancies. 
Then click the Federal Awards page and review the Data Entry Status and Report Status columns to make sure you have completed data entry. If you need to edit submitted data and your report is blocked, contact the PMT Help Desk to request that the report be unlocked. The PMT will time out after 30 minutes of inactivity. To avoid re-entering data, click the Save button before leaving the system or when you are finished entering data. Update information. It is crucial for PMT users to make sure the profile page has correct and complete contact information. Please update information in the Grants Management System first. Then contact the BJA PMT Help Desk to request the changes be made in the PMT. Click on the View All Reporting Periods button on the Federal Awards page to see all of the reports available for your grant. If your organization recently received an award from BJA and it doesn't appear in your organization's PMT profile, Check GMS to ensure your organization has accepted the award. After confirming, contact the PMT Help Desk to ask that the award be uploaded into the PMT. Please note, new awards will be uploaded in the latter half of the month prior to reporting. For example, new grantees have award start dates in October. Their awards aren't loaded into the PMT until the latter half of December to prepare for the January reporting period. Red buttons are used as indications to the action required on that page. Select the red button throughout the page and it will complete the task at hand or take you to the next step. On the data entry page, each underlined measure and question has a link to more information. Click on the links throughout the page for definitions and instructions. If you have a GMS report creation error, make sure previous reports have a data entry status of complete and report status of created. If the error persists, contact the PMT Help Desk. If your organization did not conduct grant activity during a given period, you must still submit a PMT report. When prompted, answer no to the question, was there grant activity during the reporting period? Please answer the polling questions on the right side of your screen. Number one, what does a complete report status mean? A, the grantee has not saved any data. B, the grantee has begun entering data but has not completed the data entry process. C, the grantee indicated that no activity occurred and no funds were expended during the reporting period. Or D, the grantee has entered and saved data. Number two, how long before the PMT times out from inactivity? A, 15 minutes, B, 30 minutes, C, one hour, or D, it does not. Thank you for answering our polling questions. The answer to number one, what does a complete report status mean, is D, the grantee has entered and saved data. The answer to number two, how long before the PMT times out from inactivity, is B, 30 minutes. Here is the BJA PMT Help Desk contact information. Our office hours are Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, except for U.S. federal holidays. We strive to return everyone's email and phone call within 24 hours. So please don't hesitate to leave a voicemail or email, even after business hours. We'll leave this webinar open for about 5 to 10 minutes so you can download any handouts attached or use the Q&A box if you have any questions. A recording of today's training and other user materials and resources will be posted online. On behalf of BJA and the PMT team, thank you for your time, dedication, and hard work. This concludes the presentation.